Hello everybody, Martin here, back with another Legacy video. Um, I'm playing Doomsday today, as you can see, playing a uh, an Esper Control Doomsday list. Um, I have really gotten, like, psyched about playing Doomsday again after a while of being a little bit uninterested. Um, uh, and a couple of uh, reasons for this. One is that I saw the, uh, the Esper list that won the four seasons in Bologna. Um, and, and this list that I'm playing is very much sort of a, w with the departure point being that list. And I think that playing this list, you have um, some really interesting control possibilities in the main deck. Obviously, you, you give up a lot of speed that the turbo list has. But I think um, what you gain in, 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 in its place is, is really interesting. And I think it gives you a better Deller matchup. Um, but the price is obviously that you become slower and, I suppose, lose some of the uh, uh, some per percentage points in some of the other matchups. So that's the one the reason. The other reason is that I've really had a lot of fun playing with Shouldred. Um, this d this Esper project of mine started before Shouldred was like became known tech. So I didn't play with her initially. I played with one mentor in the main and then some number of Gurmag Angler in the sideboard and the other mentor. But um, like after Max Storshin, um after Max got like won the 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 challenge the uh, the showcase challenge with with Turbo Doomsday but with Shoulder in the, in the sideboard, I got really interested in trying her out and so far so good like she is like a lot of fun. I expect the format to correct itself and get to a point where probably like there will be more white and more Caracases, but I'm not sure it will be able to like really overcorrect in a way that makes her untenable. Uh, maybe as a main deck card, I'm not sure, but but so the thing I really like, okay, dialing it back, oops. Um, Max was playing her in the sideboard as a sort of duke to or juke to, to, to bring in versus uh, Delver particularly, but incidentally versus other decks as well. I've moved her into the, s into the main because first of all, I think like this, d this main deck can go long, quote unquote. And second of all, and this is, I think, one of the more interesting things is Shoulder is basically like in a weird way. She's like your combo cards five through six. She's not Doomsday, obviously. She costs one more mana. And against some decks, if they have a Caracas or a Plow, then she's like kind of embarrassing. But against a non trivial portion of the, of the decks you'll face, if you resolve Shouldred, it's like almost game over. I, I mean, against any aggro strategy, if you get to untap with Shouldred and, and gain two life and then potentially like gain six from Brainstorm or four from a Predict or whatever and your Bobbles gain you life, it's just like she races incredibly uh, well. And yeah, um, just to touch on a few other things, this is basically like, I really want to see how, how well I can push this against Delver. I'm currently, at the time of recording, I am 11 and 3 versus Delver strategies, which is obviously like amazing, but not like n not anywhere near enough observations for it to really matter that much. So I want to see how, how I do in like, when I have three times that uh, number of, of, uh, uh, of recordings or like four or five times even but that will take a long time obviously but anyways i, I want to see if it has like legs versus delver um and it's so far it, it 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 has like so what do we do versus delver well we board out the doomsdays and the dark rituals the dark rituals is a, is a bit of a shame because we want to we would like to make a fast shoulder it, but we need to make space for all the white removal and the mentors and the planes and also these three blue blasts. They have been very good against Delver. Um, they counter expressive iterations. They counter bolts on your Strixes or pyroblasts, and they kill uh, 
Dragon's Race Chandler, so that's really nice. Anyways, I'm I, I've been getting like I would say mixed results. Not like versus Zelda's been great, but my overall win percentage is lower than I would like it to be. Uh, at the moment, I, I have around a hundred matches, and I o I only have like a bit above fifty, like fifty two or fifty three percent win rate. And obviously, like talking about win rates when you don't have more uh, observations is a little bit pointless, but it can give it can act as an indication. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up now, and I'm gonna go play some magic, and let's jump into a league. All right, round number one on the draw. Get uh, potential turn two shouldered here, and I have force uh, to back it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep keep here. Um, yeah, let's just pass. An island deck at least uh, indicates that they will be interested in casting cantrips. Island, island, go. Hmm. So if this is control deck, they could easily just have like white mana plow here. Um, but if this dark ritual is it resolves and they don't have plow and what whatnot, this might be interesting. So I'm gonna cast here. I think I I don't expect days out of island island. Is basically what I'm saying. I'm willing to 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 try out here. Yep. Get her brainstorm now. All right, she's in. Let's hope for a non-source of plowshare scenario. Boo! Nope. How about no? Okay. Doomsday is kind of a good pickup here. Let's swing for the fences. Um. Yeah, no. Um, I was considering whether or not I ought to, like, uh, leap the fetch lands up to get through the pile faster, but I think this is, is probably better. Okay, Oracle, Cavern. I think I want to ferry. I think I probably want uh, like Dark Ritual Doomsday, I guess, to cast again. Is that unreasonable? So let's uh like we we draw to fairy. We could do something else. This may be too cute. Um we could draw to fairy. Bounce nothing. Fetch underground sea. Like bounce nothing, uh draw a thought seas. Yeah, I think I like that better. So Underground Sea, Cavern, Thassa, Teferi, well, Teferi on top, Thassis. So back to basics here is kind of uh, annoying. This is, okay, Plow, yep. Narset, okay. Narset is, like if they have, um, Days on doing here, they they get to win. Do believe. So, I think um, I am gonna to ferry here. And I'm not gonna draw because that doesn't make sense. <clears throat> so I'm gonna pass. And then um, probably I will fetch, if, if Teferi is still around at the end of the, the turn, if, they, and I, if I haven't gotten like days undone, dress down, okay. Well, dress down doesn't work with Teferi in play. Oh, mentor, okay, sure. Hmm. 
Right. So basically, we fetch, um, and then we have uh, a one in three chance of drawing the oracle. Uh, which wins on the spot, and a 2 and 3 chance of not doing that. Okay, we didn't. So... Let's thought seize that dress down, at least. Oh, they concede, wow. I think that was that was fortunate for me. Um, they must have thought the second uh, card in hand was uh, the Oracle. Little did they know. The thing is, I wasn't going to be able to keep Teferi in play, I don't think. Um, okay, anyways. I think, like, one ending, one mentor. Maybe actually both mentors. Um, and a couple of blasts. Blue blasts, because I do expect them to bring in red blasts. Um, I, I don't think we want two shouldered, and I don't think we want the Strix. So is that fair? I think this is fine. Okay. Yeah, I'll keep this. I don't like having the Oracle, but I like having the Bobble and Predict. Oh, hang on, I did see red mana, right? I saw the basic mountain. <clears throat> okay. I think I like trucking with basics uh, against this opponent. If they want to fetch uh, and blast, that's fine. Nope, don't want these. I don't hate Pierce. Um, yeah, I'll probably pass here. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, oh, damn it. I was supposed to play out the bobble. Yep. Never mind. I don't expect them to play into, like, days here, so I would, don't expect them to, to plump a uh, Teferi into play. But, oh, this is a, a nice Spell Pierce target, too. And they missed their land drop. Interesting. Um, right. So why don't we bobble them? Hopefully it's a land. It's not, but it's ponder. I don't mind taking their ponder. So I think I'm actually going to brainstorm first. Get away, get rid of this Thassa's Oracle. And probably the Unearth. And um, let's uh, let's get underground C and basic swamp, I suppose. Even though uh, this is, I don't think we played that well around around like non-basic eight here. But all right. Let's get rid of Ponder. Um, let's pass. Teferi is a nice pickup here, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna let them have it. I think I'll save the force. The force is for something else. Yep, they get their two cards. I think I'll save my bobble too uh, for another predict. Mm, I don't hate ending. I think we're going to ponder here. Yeah, I kind of like... Well, I mean, the Doomsday is kind of awkward right now, but... It's still pretty good, I think. Hydroblast. 
So what I would love to do next turn is to like play to fairy and then if they have pyroblast, hyroblast it. Is this really the tap out against the uh I think yeah, I think it's brainstorm against the spell priest deck. Yeah, I don't think I feel like playing against um Narset. Oh, they have Jeez, double force. Okay, I mean, we'll have to ending Narset. Come on, with okay, EI. That's nice. Um, yeah, I am gonna ending Narset. I don't think. There's that much to debate. Um, Mistress Bauble will be drawing us a cavern. And then we'll be free free of the brainstorm lock. Okay, there's a plow. So plow's not that exciting for them. It, of course, means that us drawing... Oh, Teferi, okay. So we have our own Teferi. We could also just like Dark Ritual Doomsday. Their hand is Expressive Iteration, Plow, and a Blank. Um, so maybe we're just supposed to play uh, Teferi first. I, I don't think it matters, but... Um, All right. So let's um let's grab a predict. Let's grab a thoughtsies uh Thossus oracle and I don't know. Like on earth. No, on earth no, so isn't really doing anything. All right, let's um, predict away a monster mentor and then like have the other mentor be the last card. So if something catastrophic happens next turn, they don't know about mentors. They won't see them in the exile zone. So we'll draw predict, uh, cast predict, predicting mentor, drawing Thassa's Oracle and Thought Seize. This obviously all kind of false. Oh, hang on, I get to draw a card this turn. Right, 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 right. Okay, so I will draw Thoughtseize. And then I'll draw Predict, and I'll predict Mentor, drawing Thassa and Mentor. So Mentor on the bottom, Thassa, then Mentor, then Predict and Thoughtseize. I'll return nothing. So, like, back to basics, I mean, that obviously, honestly, messes with them as much as it messes with us. But um, that would kind of, like, offset our plan uh, next turn. Island, okay. I guess counterbalance would be kind of annoying here. If they draw a card with uh, Teferi, sure. Blast the Teferi, yeah. Now you don't have Blast Men open, and I get to lead with Thoughtseize, which is good. Um, okay. Well, they can't cast any of this. So... Monastery Mentor.
Merfolk, and Bob's your uncle. All right, cool. Good one. Let's uh, let's try this out. I think I'm gonna lead on the strand to play a little bit around wasteland. Would kind of like to brainstorm this Thassus Oracle way, but could also, in a pinch, like if I if my wasteland fetch, uh, my if my fetch land shuffle is sort of out, I can also like predict it uh, away with with yeah with predict. Okay. Ooh, is this Delver? Delverino, okay. Sure. Leave the card on top, okay. I suppose you're you're probably supposed to crack this on me, right? I think I would do that. Okay, so they crack it on me, and now I have to decide whether or not I want to fetch. Like if I don't fetch, they will know uh, uh, a card in my hand, and that sort of in the abstract is bad for me. But oh, when they know about Shouldred, but I do kind of want to to get my like brainstorm and put away Thassa, probably put away Teferi. And I'll pass. So Wasteland is kind of a bummer here. Yup. At least we have two more, two more lands. So, opponent, what shall it be? Another thingy? No? Okay, opponent is taking their time. So... I kind of am mostly concerned about another threat here, to be honest. Like, I would rather see them ponder or something. Hopefully they, they aren't playing Stifle. Okay. Uh, I think we're just getting underground C. I mean, another... Another... Land isn't the worst. Not at all. Hopefully we can get them to play into, what's this, like Bolt? Do I pierce a Bolt? Hmm. Keep the card on top. Uh, yikes. I mean, it seems extremely mediocre to pierce a bolt here but I think I am actually going to because I think the life points might end up mattering all right Uh, another wasteland. I suppose I should have. That was dumb. I should have tapped. Because now they can, if they want to, do something pre combat and get uh, DRC Delirious. Where if I had tapped, yeah, well, I mean, it didn't end up mattering, but still. Okay, Strix is pretty good. Um, I, I don't want to play in today's, though.
Delver, huh? Okay. Okay. So I, I think I'm gonna take. Oh no, actually, I was gonna say I could take the uh, the the predict bait here, like get get them to flip Delver, but then they have the fetch land. So I think I'm just gonna play out uh, Strix here. Hopefully, buy myself a little bit of time. The second children is not bad. But we do need Childred to hit the battlefield kind of soon um, for her to, to, to kind of matter of drawing second predicts pretty bad. All right, turns out they didn't flip, so I guess... Um, wouldn't have mattered with the predict. So if my opponent could please stop drawing wastelands, that would be great. And also maybe not like lightning bolts. Do you attack here? Okay. Iteration, okay. I'm gonna let the trigger resolve here and then I'm gonna pierce. I mean, if they daze, they daze. That's a daze they don't have for Shouldred. Put Delver into the graveyard, and now uh, DRC is delirious. Okay, daze resolves. Do they scry something to the bottom? Oh, not the bottom. I mean to the graveyard. They don't. So they like the top card. Hoping it's not a wasteland. It's funny, like, how big of a deal wasteland is, right? Or at least can be. I think a wasteland right now probably, s like, swings the match t um, firmly into their favor. All right, they're in the tank here over the the EI. They have a land drop, and um, I believe so anyways, right? They have a land drop. I cast Spell Pierce and then they dazed, but what happened before then? Yeah, they had their land drop, never mind. A ponder, okay. So that was what was exile probably? I didn't get to see, and for some reason, like, yeah, it, like the log doesn't show what was exiled. All right. So hopefully now we will get uh, some mileage out of these predicts. They do not shuffle, and they pass. Okay, I actually don't hate this force of will. Um, uh, let's pass here, and then let's, whatever they reveal with the Delver, uh, we're gonna try and predict it. And if they use a blast, then that's a blast that's not aimed at our at our Strixie, and if it's a uh, force, you know, same drill. Or uh, that's a force that's not aimed at like shoulder or whatever. And the fact that it's a daze that they revealed, I don't like, I don't hate, like daze could easily lose its relevance, but like I am a little bit choked on mana and shoulder is the big payoff here, so. They bolt. Uh, okay, so they bolt to not draw the del uh, the days. That's that's clever.
Um, is there a world where I survive forcing here? I think maybe I have to. Now I don't, I obviously don't get to draw two cards, but I really don't want to lose my Strix. And what do we name? Let's name Merktide. How about that? Island, okay. That's not the best, but we, we do get to draw a land. And they don't have that daze, and hopefully Shoulder can resolve. It's a lot of hope, as you can tell. So they have to attack with DRC. They attack with both. Makes sense. I'm going to trade with DRC. Another DRC. Okay. So we can drop to 10 here. Play Shouldred. Uh, let's play around days. Do I even... Does the one life matter, though? If I drop to... Let's say I don't fetch by use of pedal. I drop to... I am at 11. I drop to 5. I go back up to t to 7 with when I draw a card. I think that actually does matter. But they probably have a force by now. We'll see. They do. Right. Okay. And they exile days. And they've been a land. Okay. I'm not quite ready to give up yet because they could have, like, uh, I could draw, like, Strix into Strix or whatever, but it is not looking good. And the problem, I suppose, is with my dec decision to put children in the main is now this doesn't, like... I'm not even sure they know that I'm on Doomsday, to be honest. The pedal might have given it away, but we'll see. So they might, like, not miss board, but I'm not sure how well prepared they are They are to fight, like, like Esper Control. Yep, that doesn't do it. All right, off to game number two. Let's see here. Gonna board versus Delver like we drew it up. So it means the blasts, the basic planes, and all my white cards. And we'll board out the Doomsdays and the Thassa Dark Grit and um, a Petal and the Thoughtseize and a Force of Will. Yeah, I, I, I think, like, Force of Will quickly gets pretty awkward when it becomes, like, a resource game about who can predict, resolve more predicts or expressive iterations. Um, and it trades so unfavorably with, like, uh, with the, the Red Blasts. But then, again, I'm not sure I want anything else, any of these cards in my deck. Um you know, in place of some of the other three forces, but yeah, we, we shave one. Ugh. Speaking of the devil, I'm going to keep and I'm going to do something unorthodox here and I'm going to turn one brainstorm. Because I, or am I? I don't know. I just, I don't think I can afford to have the force, uh, to, sorry, to have um, brainstorm get pyroblasted. I would then need to at least, at the very least, need to draw another land as my second draw or my first draw. But maybe, oh, yeah, no, I just convinced myself otherwise. So if they go turn one um, Darcy, I'm going to, I am going to Hydro Blast off of Basic Island. Um... And then if they daze, they daze. And then we'll see where Brainstorm takes us next turn. Yeah, this is daze. I can tell it. Whenever someone is taking this long, it always means they're dazing.
Okay. They would have... <laughs> I'm going to caveat by saying that they probably would have dazed by now then for my logic to hold up. I'm not used to people waiting this long, but... Oh, okay. You'd have to assume that they're not dazing my brainstorm then, but you never know. If so, that's like stone cold. I don't know. Maybe they just have like a bad internet connection. I don't know. They are um, kind of taking a long time on several decisions here. Like if we get dazed, it's kind of bad. If we get brainstorm locked, it's probably like way worse. And we of course get brainstorm locked. No, jeez Louise. Oh, is there any way out of this? Damn. Um, okay. What two drop is coming for us here? Counterbalance. I think I am going to actually force pitch force. And that's why they didn't want to daze. I, every single Delver player has such a hard on to resolve counterbalance. It's, um, yeah, I mean, it's good. It can be a good card. I think a lot of the times, a lot of the time it isn't. But when your opponent stumbles on a one drop, uh, sorry, on a brainstorm, it probably is. I think I'm going to sadly have to brainstorm now into the counterbalance because I don't want to give them... Um, Time to like brainstorm in response. <sighs> yep. Okay. So they had the one drop, and now we just get to lose the counterbalance. And we're drawing Shouldred and passing one more time, which is, of course, unfortunate. I'll keep playing for a bit, but like if I'm, I'm not that far away from, I think, just conceding. Um. So, best case scenario here, they cast, they tap out for EI, I pierce, and then they don't have a one drop on top, I guess. Wasteland, okay. Well, pierce just got worse, as did my underground C. I think I have to play this and then, like, cycle on Earth. I suppose there was a world where I wait and like hope to draw a dark ritual. Okay. And now they can EI, I guess. Yep. <laughs> Delver into the yard. This will make... No, this... Uh, once uh, EI is in the yard, they'll be delirious. So it didn't matter with the Delver because they already had the uh, the Dragon Tree Shelter that I blasted. <laughs> A 
lightning bolt. Okay, they're gonna bolt me? Sure. DRC leaves a card on top. I think it's probably EI, Merc Tide, or a one drop. Yeah. Oh yeah. Things not looking good for our hero here. They're attacking first, so probably a Merc Tide, and they want to get their three damage before uh, DRC loses Delirium. Okay, no. Getting ahead of myself here. Wow. Talk about the wrong color of mana. I don't expect to be able to beat their five cards uh, that they have in, in hand. But, you know, I'll give it the old college try if I were to draw a white source all right well I think we have to we have to try this expect them to I think they could have brainstorm here which would be kind of bad or what oh of course Yep. Uh, no. That means I'm dead. I'll take three and then another three. Okay. One, one. Let's uh, try for round number three. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'll keep this. And I'll scry my, uh, with my bauble and hopefully find like a blue card. And then I'll be like, this is a turn three shoulder it with force backup. But uh, yeah, we'll see if shoulder it is even sort of relevant in this matchup. I think except for Thassa's Oracle, I'll keep pretty much any blue card on top that I see with the bobble and probably fetch if it's not a blue card. I am a little bit concerned about this, like otherwise, this this force is dead, and in that case, I'm sitting on like four mana sources, a dead force, and a four drop. Um, all right, opponent is there at last, and they mulligan the six. Let's play the bobble. So yeah, it does kind of suck that we, like the that display versus silver was not uh, too impressive. But um, yeah, yeah is what it is. Sometimes like you, you get brainstorm locked and and you just can't afford to trip up versus versus silver. It's it's too efficient a machine. Preordain. Okay, that makes me think it's a combo deck. So let's uh, hope we get to put Shouldered into play and that she matters. Or that, you know. Mm, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ponder here. Uh, there is Doomsday. That's better, probably. Let's draw the Pierce so that we can actually still... Like pitch cast force. Ponder, okay. So what's better actually? Is it to cast Doomsday or to cast Shouldred? Uh they do not shuffle. So if this is show and tell, I think like keeping Shouldred in hand just in case they managed to resolve show and tell is it's probably better because it might be gristlebrand in which case well, we just win 
So tempting as it is to actually get shouldered into play and have some shouldered action here, I think it's better to simply cast Doomsday. If we were to lose a fight over Doomsday, we can then cast Shoulder next turn, which is not the worst. Force Pitch Intuition. I'm going to force back. Okay. It's a sneak and show, I guess. That's super interesting. So I, I played the pedal. I played Doomsday. So Storm is two. They play Fluster Storm, so it's like three copies. I can pay for... Okay. I was just debating with myself if there was a, an, a like a reason for them not to just Fluster and, and, and save their force. But I don't think there is, but maybe I'm wrong. All right. Doomsday's countered. Shouldred remains. Let's see if they have their combo. Okay. Well, oh, Fable. Right. Okay. Shouldred also is good against Fable. Bobble. It's nice. This better not be another force blue card or I'll be sad. Let's see what they'll be drawing. Another uh, fable. Okay, Spell Pierce is, is kind of nice. Now you take two. And if they want to use their second chapter, they're going to take four more. Okay, they don't. Show and tell. I think I'm actually going to counter that. How about that? So their hand is the fable and whatever they wanted to put into play. Which I suppose is not Gristlebrand. Okay. They're attacking. I'm gonna I'm gonna block here. I don't think they would run bolt, because then their hand would be bolt and fable, but uh, you know. Okay, a bobble could have been a better draw, but, and I'm gonna see what's up. Oh, that's gross. Another show and tell. I have to hope to draw like predict here or another spell pierce. That's not it. Well, if they have show and tell Emrakul, then they even get to do the, the thing where they like haste the Emrakul. So that's kind of cool. And, oh, it is Grizzlebrand. And I draw a fucking land. Come on. Well, I mean, they can never draw a card. Like, they can never push the button with, with a Grizzlebrand. But now they do just have, like, a 7-7 seven, seven lifelinker. So they'll be gaining 5 per turn. And I'll be losing uh, 5 per turn. Unless I can draw into some cantrips, of course. And here's a second fable, sure. How does this work? Couldn't they have made like a, like a token that was a copy of their... Were they tapped out? No, I don't think so. 
Come, oh, come on. So now they can create a token that's a copy of another. Oh, non-legendary creature. Okay. Hmm. Do I attack? I think I have to attack here. Okay. So I guess that's kind of free for them. They cost them their um, their their thing, but their treasure, I mean. I would love to draw like a Teferi. <clears throat> or like a brainstorm. Brainstorm, yes please. Oh, predict is not not bad, I'm not gonna lie. The problem is, though, I'm not getting through that pesky, uh, I'm not getting through with my attacks, so I'm never, like, winning the race here, but I can, like, stave off death for quite a while, so I'm going to brainstorm again. Um... Right. Let's put back the uh, the two fetch lands. I'll predict away the delta. Gain some more life. <laughs> this is kind of funny. This is kind of like like life life gain weirdos uh you know uh, anonymous kind of thing and i'm not gonna i'm not gonna attack i shouldn't have done so before okay not sure what that achieves but oh it's until the end of the next turn okay Yep, 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 yep. <clears throat> Gristle Brand, about to gain some life. They get some treasure tokens. And I'll attack, or sorry, I'll block the uh, non token token. <laughs> uh, non uh, um, temporary token I mean oh is this sneak attack okay I can't stop that now Teferi isn't even like going to cut it I need doomsday to be honest um Actually, do I dress here? Yeah, maybe. I guess that doesn't matter. <clears throat> All right, let's ponder and predict. I suppose let's predict away the shouldered. This is a, has been a weird game. Ooh, Strix is actually not the worst. I mean, they have a second Grizzlebrand, but they can only sneak attack it in. 
I forgot I had old Strixie. Now I will attack with Shouldred. Or no, I don't. Because they can uh, eat her with Gristlebrand. So now we have to hope that we draw a Doomsday before they draw uh, an Emrakul. They draw seven, really? Drop to one? Okay. I suppose that kind of makes sense because they can get Emrakul, but I have enough permanence. Um, Okay, and I later six. Let's see, one, two, three, four. How much am I taking if I n don't block anything? I'll take uh, 19, I'll take 26. Uh, and where does that leave me? They have the second gristle brand. Three. Yep, I'll be at three. Oh no, I should have. Ah, oh, come on, you stupid. Yeah, I just took two damage I didn't need to. Okay. Suppose if you have a force of will here, it's a pretty easy, yeah. Yeah, no, I think I think I'm out. Um, I would have been at seven. They would have had a, had a thingy less. I'm not sure how much of a deal it makes. Um, okay. I think I, I like I want the forces. I think I want at least one or two blasts. Uh, I don't think I want Belfel Strix. And I don't need on Earth. Yeah, this seems pretty all right. Maybe like one Monaster Mentor would have been nice. All right, let's have a look here. Yeah, this this is okay. The Oracle is always a little bit annoying, but um, let's ponder. Yeah, I kind of want all of these. So I'll take all of these. I'll draw one, I'll bobble into the other, and I'll draw the th third. And then we just need to uh, see about getting some mana.
All right, ponder away. No shuffle. Right. I can, for the life of me, imagine that they will spend a pedal to like pyroblast a ponder, but that would actually be pretty backbreaking if they did. Okay. Yeah, I'll take this and I'll thought seize now, and see if how much I have to worry about. Um, and I have brainstorms coming where I can predict away a brainstorm. Okay. Force of will pitching Omni. I think uh, there is going to be something to force of negation here. But we'll see. Yeah, pitch the predict, and we'll draw brainstorm and derit the doomsday. So let's um, we can like cavern of souls and pedal. And we can predict away, like, I don't know, like a force of will. And we can put in, like, uh, I don't know, like a duress. How does that look? So here we will be drawing predict, predicting away a force of will, drawing cavern and pedal. And if, for some reason, we get uh, into a situation where we need to force next turn, we can brainstorm drawing force predict and cavern, say, put back cavern and, and oracle. Yeah, I think this is fine. It's a little bit soft to pyroblast, but, you know, so be it. Uh, we'll address on the bottom. I'm going this. Okay. We'll have to bide our time then. So next turn we can brainstorm, see if that resolves. And if it does, so I suppose brainstorming right now means we aren't like force of will is off, but it also means we get to like duress and then see if the coast is clear and then like win with Thassa next turn. And he, as a bonus, we even have Thassa to put in off show and tell. Um, if they were to like not draw a show and tell. Yeah, let's take the sneak attack. <clears throat> okay, sweet. One, one, let's, um, yeah. Game number three, I guess. I think I actually need the third blast, honestly, with all those fables and sneak attacks. It seems pretty relevant. And maybe we can, like, <clears throat> stand to lose a bauble. Yeah, I'll keep this. I don't hate the double pierce, and um, eventually Shouldred should 
prove useful. They also kept seven. Okay. All right, excellent. Let's uh, scry ourselves here. Um, don't think I want that land. I suppose eventually I would like to cast shoulder and all that, but I don't think I want a fourth land right now. Hmm, Dark Ritual, that's another way to play Shouldred. Though I don't dare to do that right now. I think I need to... Uh, I think I'm going to pass one more turn. This way I'll keep up double pierce and force on their turn. And then on my turn, if nothing has happened, I can get, like, cast shoulder through, like, um, with force and a single pierce backup, which is pretty good. So how do we lose here? We lose if they go like Force and Fluster Storm. We lose that war. Oh, okay. <clears throat> we just get get shielded. Interesting. Petty theft. Um could pierce like trade my pierce with the uh, with the lotus petal but i don't think i will they could cast it now it'll cost them their petal so uh, i don't hate that i would really then like to like trade a pierce for something on their turn and then, like, cast, hard cast, uh, shoulder next turn. All right. Thoughts is, I think. Thought sees is fine to do now. Like hold off a turn. We'll take a like quite a bit of damage, but if it means shoulder it gets to resolve, that's like very much worth it. Alright, let's um let's take one of these pyroblasts and pass. Was that island? Okay, so that's that's what they drew. Okay, so we'll take three now, and we'll get to like cast shoulder it. <clears throat> and I think casting her off of a dark ritual is actually worth it because that means we get to keep open both spell pierces and the force. And, like, because they have the Spirit Guide and a Pyroblast, they very much could end up mattering. And there is, like, no contest in this uh, race now. I'll be losing one per turn, and they'll be losing six per turn at, like, a baseline. Okay, pedal. So we know so they're they're casting the spirit guide. That's fine. Hasta la vista spirit guide. Or, you know, it's no longer in your hand, I 
suppose is what I meant. Ooh, Hydro Blast is a good pickup. So I think I'm just going to casually start off by gaining a bunch of life. And let's put back Flooded Strand. Pearson Flooded Strand. And we'll predict away the strand. And if they blast this, I will fetch and hydro blast, maybe? Or maybe I'll just let it happen. Which would have been annoying because then, you know, the predict just becomes a cycler. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Ponder, okay. So ponder finding show and tell or sneak attack is I guess what they're looking for, but we we have our bases pretty well covered. And they do not shuffle. Um how about force pitch pierce? And then you pyroblast. And then I pierce. I think that's that should be game. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, two one on to round number four. Right on the draw. Ugh. I mean, I'll keep this on the strength of brainstorm, but it is asking for trouble. I think. All right. Well, we didn't get our brainstorm discarded, and we didn't get like turn one chalice, so can't complain too much. The spell pierce is a decent pickup. Playing into uh, wasteland here, but if they wasteland, you know that. I'm um, not gonna pierce a ponder, although what, what land, what what that goes tropical island, and delta and ponder. I think it could be like like A uh, and T, or infect. I've actually faced infect quite a few times uh, lately, or it could be like the four color control deck with like Minsk and Boo and whatnot. Uh, yeah, I think we just pass here. Ugh, wasteland. All right. Well, let's try again. Replay the same turn again, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Another wasteland, that would actually be quite hilarious. Okay. I think I like brainstorming here, actually. If they want to fight over that, I think that's fine. I have another one coming. Okay, let's um, hmm. let's put back Scrubland and one of the Pierces, I think. And let's fetch. Uh, we'll, we'll get Scrubland. Um, let's pawn, oh, sorry, duress here. Oh, there's not a, like, a veil of summer hanging out. Nah, you know what? That's probably fine. I thought about piercing back. But um, I think this is actually, yeah, better. Like, the dress trading with a pierce is probably pretty decent value anyways. So let's, let's grab the predict here. 
and cast this and say go. Okay. I think I want to have a look what they're drawing, and I don't want to draw my Dark Ritual now. I want to predict it away at end of turn. Okay, Days, what is this? This is like Rug Delver with no creatures. Uh, Dark Ritual. Oh, shoulder it, huh? So let's see here. We have five mana that becomes seven. So three left with shoulder it, two left after pierce. I think I can afford. Oh, we need to draw a card, anyways. I can afford to actually look for like Cavern of Souls or a second Force of Will to make sure shoulder it resolves. Or, you know, Doomsday. Doomsday is good too. Um. I think I'm going to take the Brainstorm here, and then I'm going to cast Brainstorm, and get rid of, okay, maybe it's like one land too many. Stifle, okay. Maybe we pierce that? Oh, actually, no, that was just dumb. Uh, I'm not thinking straight. I somehow thought in my head that piercing this was like a hard counter. Okay, so they, they actually let that happen. Interesting. They have another stifle. Okay, that's fine. Um, right, so we'll we'll be drawing a land or two, but um, let's pass here and let's see what they're going to draw. Delver. Okay, so this is like rug Delver straight up. Here's Delver. Sure. Let's see if we can, like, draw out another Stifle. Okay, we could not. So I do want to lead on Doomsday here. Okay, so Doomsday resolves. So I really want, like... Strixes and Teferis and stuff. So let's say we cast Brainstorm now. We draw the two Strixes and Teferi. We put back Shoulder and Land. I uh, don't hate that. Um, yeah, go like this. Let's try this. All right. Let's see how far this takes us. I guess they could have Bolt for the bird, but, you know. Mm. 
No flippy. Okay. So if they have like two more bolts, well, they have one more. I mean, we have to fight this and hope they can't fight back. Seriously, two dazes? Wow. That's gross. Okay. Sometimes that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Okay. Up against Delver. But not just Blue Red Delver, but uh, Rug Delver with Stifles and seven Lightning Bolts. Um... Do like we did before. Cut a force and cut Oracle. And hope to not get like dumpstered. <laughs> yeah, this seems fine. I think I'll get out from under Stifle by fetching Basic Island and pondering on turn one. And then hope to be able to get there with like, get my basic setup. This will need to either fetch swamp or planes, I guess. Mm. I mean, mm, this is okay, I'm going to keep it, but we don't really have a good way to set up predict here unless we decide that we're going to predict away the pierce. But the pierce is kind of a strong card for us. So I, I'm not sure. But I think it's better than a shuffle. We can cycle with an earth. Yeah, I don't know. Let's put Pierce on the bottom and draw Predict and then uh, uh, Underground C. And we can make up our minds if we want to predict into the, like, into the face of days. Um, let's play the C here. Okay. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give them the stifle on the on the marsh flats. And instead I'm gonna cycle on Earth, I think, if they have like if they have a second wasteland or whatever. Yep. Okay. I could plow, but I'm going to cycle. Yeah, the fairy is decent. Hmm. Dress is not the worst. I'm gonna fetch her and then I'll I'll pierce a stifle. And we'll see where we go from there. Okay. Turns out didn't need to. Um What basic should I be getting, if any at all? Pff, 
probably the planes. And then I will dress. Or will I actually? Hang on. Yeah, no, I will dress because they have the fetch land, so we can't do the predict trick on their uh, the, their Delver unless they were to fetch end of turn, which I don't think they will. Two stifles, interesting. Um, it's a lot of reactive stuff. So how about if we if we take the days and we plow the Delver? Yeah, I, I really, I kind of want them to do something here. So they're going to pierce. And I'll pierce back. Okay. Goif, huh? Hmm. Yep, I think that's fine. I'm going to Teferi bounce it for a time walk. Uh... Yeah, these are or fine cards. Uh, chip, chip, chip. Yeah, I think if I need to force of will, I will use, I will pitch the brainstorm. But yeah, that's fine. They can have that and we know their hand. Um, so we know we have an, a swamp coming that we don't necessarily want. Let's see what they have coming. Another force. Can I beat double force and a clock? I think I do want to actually get rid of my basic swamp here, honestly. Snow covered swamp. Mentor. Mentor is kind of hot, but needs to happen now. And they will force, and we will force back. And then we will be hellbent, but we'll be drawing a card. And we know they'll be drawing force. So we'll be drawing a card with our bobble, which hopefully is a spell. Ooh, plow, that's a good spell. So we know they d didn't draw anything. This is a 5-6, so it's a big boy. So ideally we draw a castable spell here. Yeah, bobble is good. Let's see what they'll be drawing next. Surgical. That's, yeah, I'm not really sure what, they might surgical plow, but, uh, Let's um, let's see what we draw off our bobble before we decide what to do with this plow. But I do believe I'll be aiming it at Goyfi Goyf. So what happens if they force here? Do I pierce 
back? I don't think so. Right. I think I have to block here. Ooh, foo, 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 foo. How do you like them apples? You may concede. Uh, is there any way I lose? They have a, a surgical in hand. They can take us down to seven. Let's say they draw brainstorm and brainstorm into double bolt. That takes us down to one which is uncomfortable, but then we can, um, hang on, why am I not being allowed to attack? Okay, never mind. But then we can pierce, so I think we're fine to attack with both. Yeah, get in there. Not gonna block though. I mean, let's see, we'll, we'll, we'll be dealing them seven next turn. I'm gonna pierce and they will have to pay and be tapped out and, they'll, and pierce puts lethal on the board uh, with the extra monk, regardless of what I draw. Yep. And also, yeah with the extra monk I say, but also with the two they take from shoulder. If I'm them, I'll be surgicaling me just to see what's in the deck. Um, but they didn't, okay. So, I think we just go with what we have here and hope for uh, a kind a kind seven uh, for uh, game number three. So, it's definitely rough if they just get to do their Delver thing, if they just, like, the Threshold thing, if they just get to, like, waste between Wasteland and Stifle, there's just a number of ways that their deck can make our deck stumble. Yeah, well, I mean, so be it, right? All right, um, I mean, yeah, like I was just saying, if we keep this hand and they have Stifle, unless we just draw a multitude of running lands, I think we just lose. So I, I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna keep this. And I'm gonna send away Force of Will and hope that they kept like a Stifle hand. Oh, looks like they didn't. Delver, okay. Ah, this is just so much less scary than uh, if it were um, a Dragon's Rich Chandler. Just that continuous value that DRC creates. Okay, they don't flip. Um, they've shown us, like, Spell Pierce in both the other games, so... I'm not gonna play ending here. I could be wrong on my part, but I don't think I should. Okay, lightning bolt, right, okay. All right, let's brainstorm. Well, that's good. Let's put away um, Strand and Mentor. And we can always just choose to what we want to do with the... Uh, 
I should have played uh, Tundra, that was dumb. Th that way we could have protected all of our colors. So this has to be like either uh, a hard cast force of negation or a pitch cast force of will, force of will. And I think either case that's pretty good for us. Um, or you know the Delver is dead, and um, that's also good for us. Okay, or th yeah, they could fluster us actually. That's that's, that's decent. Okay, I'm not going to pay for that. What I am going to do is I'm going to predict myself now. If they, if it turns out they also have days or a pyroblast, then at least Teferi probably resolves. Although maybe pay, playing into days here is a pretty big, like, mistake. But okay, no. Flooded strand. I like that. Okay, that's pretty good. So they are down to three cards, and um, it's going to be pretty pivotal to see if we get to untap here with like all of our lands in play and no more threats on their side. Looks like we will. That's ooh, Strix is also like very good. Maybe Strix is actually. What we want here, and we can protect it from blast with the uh, hydro blast. We can't protect it from double blast, but you know, so be it. Force of will pitch stifle. I'm actually, I'm, I'm actually, uh, am I? Yeah, I am actually going to force back. This really signals to me that they don't have another answer for the Strix. Um, so that should hopefully take care of Delver. Oh, the plow also makes it pretty, pretty good here. And we can, like, play the fairy to bounce, like, Murktide or, or Goyf or something. Wasteland, okay. One card in hand. Pyroblast, okay. Mm. Oh, why don't I just plow this knowing that there is no days? And I'm going to mentor here and hope to not lose him to, like, to them having Bolt on top of their deck. Uh, which I don't think they they do, but we'll see. And then we can like trigger monk, play to fairy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, plow. Might as well fetch now while the fetching's good. Get the basic swamp. Bounce Delver and attack. All right, your turn. Brainstorm is good. Like, if they get Bolt here, that's actually quite bad for us. Yeah, we'll see. All right, what will it be? Bolt, okay. Yeah, uh, Mentor is bolted. We still have a Monk token and Teferi and a Plow, so I think 
like could be worse, but um like they likely have Delver now and then like we'll flip Delver. Or something else scary. What's this? They didn't want the third card down. Okay, they have Hex. Okay. I'm guessing the their last card in hand is Delver. Mm, not going to play that. Like... Honestly, our best car, like draw by far would be Shouldred here. Blast. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Oh, yes, please. Shouldred does not care about Maddening Hex. And will gain us life and will end the game. In fact, oh, so good. Gain that life. Let's get in there. This probably ends the game pretty swiftly. They have this turn to make it happen. And they didn't. All right, cool. On the board versus Delver. Let's uh, see if we can uh, get the four and one, f or you know, at least we're guaranteed a positive record. Back with round number five. All right, round number five on the play. Uh, for, yeah, okay. I'm not in love with the cavern here, but I do like turn one ponder and having force of will. Maybe I th I think actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna bobble them before I ponder to see if I can learn a bit about what I'm up against and inform that ponder. All right. Let's see. Polluted Delta. Okay, well, I mean, that doesn't <laughs> that doesn't really mean that much. Uh, I'm going to leave Doomsday on top here and draw the Underground Sea. Like, Polluted Delta could mean Delver, which could mean Mishra's Bobble, which could mean they get to see. But I... Th oh, hang on. What? Oh, I'm such a doofus! Uh, there I go, forgetting about the Bobble. I was about to say it, but I do think that, like... Um... Like, them having discard is, is somewhat more likely. Um, I think I am going to, like, Doomsday here. We have the Force backup. We can play around days. It is a little bit annoying not knowing what we're up against. Obviously, Flusterstorm is the nightmare here. All right, let's see what they got. Badlands. Okay, so it's Black Red Reanimator, I guess. In which case... Wait, what? Okay, so they're cycling cling to dust. So it's not uh, Black Red Reanimator. Okay. Let's... um. Let's draw predict. Let's draw predict. Predict a wave, Belfal Strix. Uh, then draw Thassa and Petal. 
and unearth as the last card in case somehow um wait what drawing predict predicting away at Belfel Strix drawing Thassa Petal yeah and then unearth so in case they like have bolt for Thassa or something and, and by yeah hopefully it won't come up but we'll see So I will force of will, I think, like a hymn to Torak. I don't believe I'll force of will a Thoughtseize. They didn't have force of will last turn. Is this Belfelstrix? Hamana, Hamana, yes. All right, and you get a Baleful Strix, and you get a Baleful Strix. Baleful Strix. Let's play the pedal. And that should do it. Yep, all right, so my best guess, because who else plays Clean to Dust, is that this is like a Strifo pile or a Grixis control deck. In either case, I probably, like the Blue Blasts, will have targets. The Mentor might be decent as a one of. And I think I don't hate cutting the, the Belfel Strixes. And would I want like a single prismatic ending? It's possible. And I think I'll cut on Earth. If it's Grixis control, I suppose Shouldred is would will is good, but not amazing. Like they could have like sudden edict um, as a pretty effective and clean answer to her. You wouldn't expect Grixis control to keep in sudden edict versus Doomsday, but they might know what's up with Shouldred. All right. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, I think I'll keep this. Opponent keeps seven as well. I, I, I could completely be misreading this, but like Belfast Strix and Cling to Dust does seem kind of, yep, yeah, you can have this. What do you take here? You probably take the Ponder, I would imagine. Ponder or Force of Will, I guess. Okay, do take the ponder. That's kind of what I was worried about. Um, let's go like this. They probably have expressive iteration, in which case, like these blasts are going to find homes. But um, yeah, now they know about them, so that's obviously less amazing. No shuffle, okay. Ooh, basic mountain. Do I fight over a pyroblast here? I probably don't because I think they have expressive iteration. And I think this like this matchup is going to be about card advantage. This could be Narset. Oh, Snapcaster. Hmm. I think I do force old Snappy. This does leave me pretty vulnerable to like a Narset. Uh, maybe not. That was a good draw.
Oh, uh, yuck. Okay. I suppose I will pierce the Thoughtseize. That means they still have, like, perfect information, but I think that's better. Come on, something relevant. That's something relevant, I suppose. Problem is, I, I can't really afford to um, to bounce Snapcaster, right? Like, uh, they will just replay it and then have Red Elemental Blast. So I, th I think I need to plus Teferi. And then probably just cycle him at some point, like next turn. Let's see here. They might have another blast, in which case that's not so good. I'm also tapped out now for the, uh, like if they have uh, iteration, now is the window for them. Okay. I'll discard dark. <laughs> I'll discard hydro blast. They got back their Snapcaster. And I'm being attacked, okay. That's cool. Um, now I will bounce Snapcaster. Uh, just not at all what I was looking for, truth be told. Let's hope they have something better to do than Snapcaster. Okay, they don't, but I will pierce the Red Blast, I suppose. Though what am I really saving to Fairy for? Well, I suppose they will have to attack him if they want. Um, if they want this. And also, like, uh, as long as Teferi is in play, like, if I draw Doomsday or Shoulder now, it will just get to resolve regardless. Eh. So I don't hate that. I will pause on their draw step. And, uh, so sorry, thought sees them. Let's see what they have. Looks like they just, ooh, opposition agent. That's kind of cool. All right, I'm not going to lie. This is not going to be an easy an easy hand to beat. I'll take the opposition agent. They can bolt uh, to ferry here. There are no immediate, like, awesome surgical targets right now. Okay, they strix. It's fair. Now they have bolt snap bolt. Uh, like if I were to draw shouldered. Okay, but they they go after um, uh, they go after Teferi. All right, something good. No, why do I keep drawing spell pierce? Jeez. Well, I mean spell pierce. To be fair is like pretty good in this matchup, except it doesn't counter Snapcaster Mage. And they drew a land, so now they can like cast Narset through my Pierce, which is annoying. They have Opposition Agent, that is good to know about. Yeah, I'm gonna concede to this uh, Narset. Um, like even if I were to like top deck shoulder or doomsday or especially shoulder I think I would still lose so I'd rather not give that away does seeing opposition agent change anything do we need to bring in like a plow maybe but instead of what maybe instead of a pedal yeah let's do that Ugh, this is not, like, um, hmm. completely apparent to me how I'm supposed to deal with this. 
Not like that. Okay, I'll take this. I'll put away the cavern. I will bobble myself. Hopefully you see a dark ritual. That'd be kind of nice. Ooh. Hamana Hamana. Uh, actually, no. Was that just a big punt? That is one thing I'm just not, like, sufficient at, proficient at, whatever, is playing around, like, using bobble, probably. I just, uh, I pl just played into discard. Like, if I bobbled on their turn, then I don't do that. So I think maybe I'm supposed to duress them now in case they have Thoughtseize. That, of course, means I don't get to see what they draw. Uh, they do have Thoughtseize. All right, good stuff. Jace, Kulagon's Command, Brainstorm. All right, so hopefully they don't top deck a Thoughtseize or a, or a Force of Will. And they don't. That's very good generous of them to show me what they drew I guess this way they will get a fetch land for their troubles interesting jeez this is interesting what's the play here because if I doomsday now and they find the force then I am further away from casting shoulder it than if I shoulder it now and they force Obviously, like Doomsday, the longer the game goes, the l like the less good it becomes. I think I'm gonna shoulder it though. I think that is almost as good, unless of course they just show us um, that they have like uh, I don't know, like sudden edict off the brainstorm. I think also, like. Shoulder it like if if their brainstorm now hits force of negation, then you know th that doesn't work. Oh bummer. Okay, they found the force, and Jace is dead. Bloodstained Mire. Strix, okay. So a land would just be great. <sighs> no, okay. Not so much great. And I mean, they have a land. I assume I'm going to get Coligans commanded in my draw step, probably. Or in my upkeep, I don't know. Snap. Okay, Snapcaster Thoughtseize. Okay. That's very good. I think I need to draw Dark Ritual now or die. Basically. This will take Doomsday. Okay. That was not Dark Ritual. But I might find one. I do. Oh, that's actually pretty sweet. Let's hope we can stitch this together. That was a really good Dark Ritual, uh, sorry, Ponder, showing us both the Dark Ritual and the Force of Will. So let's hope they don't have, like, Impactful Spell plus... Uh, hmm... I was going to say Impactful Spell plus Pyroblast. It would appear as though they do have... I think I need to get rid of Narset here, and then just hope that Shouldred gets us through. Like, we're easily winning the race, but we're not winning any sort of, like, removal on uh, Shouldred. Let's hope they didn't find another Force plus blue card, but I don't think so. All right, okay. All 
Okay, Strix, take two. I suppose you attack. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't think I can let this, uh, I can take this block. Even if they don't have bolt. Um, and if they command me here in my draw step, I will cast predict in response just to like cycle basically. I could get lucky and draw like, um, and draw two cards, but I, I want to get like life from this. Two damage to any target. That would be me. And target player just got a card. Okay. So who do I predict? Do I predict myself? Do I have any reasonable four ofs to name? I suppose brainstorm. And how about them? They probably have four ponder. I think I'm going to name them. Or not name them, but target them. And name Ponder. Or actually, how about Lightning Bolt? Would they play four of those? No, probably not. Belfstrix, okay. Alright, I'll discard Force of Will. And pass the turn. <coughs> yep, not going to block. Not going to fall for it. Okay. Well, they have four turns, and they can't... Like every cantrip they cast uh, is a like turn off the clock. Brainstorm is now off. Looking decently, but we'll see. Like Jace the Mind Sculptor would be like brutal. I want blue card. Yes, thank you. Down to four. Don't have edict. Expressive iteration. Is this a fight? I mean, probably not. I would rather, like, uh, I would imagine they probably have, like, a, a, a red blast by now. And this isn't, this isn't like, killing me. So I would rather, like, risk it. Because I don't think they have that many apparent answers. Jace is, like, they have Jace mana. But apparently didn't find it. Okay. Passing again. Actually... I am going to play out this land and name Praetor because if they were to found Jace, find Jace and bounce Shouldred and I draw land, yeah. You see where I'm going. So, concede or Snapcaster what? Snapcaster deal two to me and I discard a card? Is that it? Or uh, it's expressive iteration, I guess. Um, this makes me feel like they have outs, and that out probably is like um, sudden edict, but force of will. So if I force this, they have to force back. Anything that costs them mana, and they won't have sudden edict mana unless they also find a land. Uh, I think I am going to 
four sexually. If they have four cards, they probably are able to fight over this, but yeah, oh, ooh, they force of will back. Interesting. All right, I think it's sudden edict or bust here. And they concede. Sweet. Got the 4-1. All right. Well, those were some cool games. Um, went 1-1 one one with Delver. Would have kind of loved to have beaten it, but that was not meant to be. Uh, I mean, beaten it the first time around. And honestly, I'm not sure which version of Delver is worse, but I do believe it's probably blue-red. Like, worse for me to play against, I mean. Because... It just feels more threat dense and and quicker to get to like a pivotal point of pressure, whereas Canadian Threshold is it feels a bit more like elegant, but also like a lot slower and almost mid rangey by comparison. That's funny actually, but um yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will be back with some more Legacy.